It's your girl Missy here back with another one here to recap Power Book 4 for Season 2, Episode 6, Here, There, Be Monsters. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this episode a solid, I want to give them a 10, I say about a 9.5. I thought it was really good, lots of ground to cover, so let's get started. Claudia is so fake and phony. She came with all the theatrics when she went to go identify Walter's body. So we get to Victor and he's with Stacy Marks and she makes it clear that she owns him. But she wants every single detail about Tommy Egan and she wants to connect Tommy Egan to Miguel. She wants Tommy's phone number and she wants literally every single detail. So I don't think Victor meant for it to go down like this, but he has got himself in some trouble. And did you notice the other agents and how they looked at each other when Stacy said that she was going to be the direct point of contact? So Diamond shares the news with Tommy that Walter Flynn is dead. And of course, Tommy sees this as his opportunity to take over his territory, which is the north side. Now, Jannar was wild for taking Shanti's necklace. That, to me, was just low down. But if you've ever been around someone who was on drugs really bad, this is how they move. So Maria and Tommy are out shopping for a car. She's getting ready to lease a car when she gets a text from Kendall saying that he was attacked and he's in the hospital. So when she gets to the hospital, he is like so lost. Like he does not understand who would have done this to him and why. He says that they were Mexican and he also mentioned the type of watch they had on. Maria knew it was Miguel. So of course now she's going to be upset. I didn't get to recap this episode, but this was such an unnecessary move on Miguel's part. So Diamond tries to pay off Murkovich for Jannar, and Murkovich is like, no, sir. The projects would generate money for him for a lifetime, so either he get the projects or Jannar is dead. So Victor goes to see Tommy and asks if he could rejoin CBI. Tommy is hesitant, but he agrees. Tommy wants to take over Chicago, and he cannot do that if he does not get the North Side as well. So they agree to a 60-40 split. And before Victor leaves, he asks if Tommy is going to kill Claudia and Tommy says he wants to make her suffer. So cannot wait to see what exactly is going to happen with Claudia. What is he going to do? I want to see this whole plan. It looks like they're dragging this out for the entire season. So we all knew what time it was on this next scene. So we get to the meeting with the attorney and we find out that Walter left Claudia absolutely nothing. He left everything to his son, Victor, which really was no surprise. You know, I got a question for y'all. Are any of y'all tired of JP? Because at this point, they need to find out something to do with his character because this moping around is not it. D-Mac is away because he took out a cop. JP should be happy that the boy is out of Dodge. All of this extra stuff is just really too much. So Victor finally tells Claudia that he knows she tried to have him killed. The territory is his. He's working with Tommy, and he's taking the bodyguards off of her. So this brother and sister relationship is pretty much dead. And now it's really time for Claudia to boss the heck up. Stop leaning on and depending on everybody else to help you get this bread. So Diamond goes to Jannard's place, and he sees that he is literally strung out on drugs. You got drugs everywhere, food everywhere. Jannard is out there bad, and Diamond questions how he's going to even convince Tommy to let him back in CBI. It was at this point that Diamond should have held off on the whole CBI thing. Let Jannar get better first and then try to get him back into CBI. I personally don't think Diamond should have even entertained the idea of Jannar being back in CBI, even if he was clean. But since he wants to give him an opportunity, he definitely should have waited until he was clean. So Claudia tells Murkovich that her brother is now working with Tommy and they are coming into the north side. And she needs protection. So Murkovich does give her two guys for security. I have always liked Murkovich. Last season, he gave people chances. But this season, Murkovich is not playing around. So Maria goes to see Miguel. And she wants to know why he did what he did to Dr. Kendall. It was so unnecessary. This scene was so funny to me. I know I can't be the only one, but he was struggling Truth be told, Miguel needs to learn how to give himself his own shot. Like, dude, you a grown-ass man. You out here doing all type of foul stuff. There's no way you cannot give yourself your own shot. This is ridiculous. But he tells her she's just like him. So what do y'all think about Maria? Each episode, we learn more about her character, and y'all have to admit, things are not adding up. And you notice the grandmother grabbed her arm and was like, it's your brother. 
And that's what Maria tells her. This is the monster that you created. So we're starting to see that she will defy her family. And I think in this season, she's going to have to make a decision. It's going to ball between her brother and Tommy. Before the season started, I thought, you know, it would be her family. But now that we're seeing how things play out, she may side with Tommy Egan. Also, Abuelita may see something different in Maria, and it may cause her to start looking into what Maria has been doing. So Diamond meets with Shanti and tells her that Jannard has a drug problem. Of course, Shanti was well aware. And he also tells her that he's trying to get Jannard back into CBI. It's already going to be hard, and it's going to be even worse if he's on drugs. So Shanti is going to help get Jannard clean and and Diamond is going to talk to Tommy about getting Jannard back into CBI. So Diamond is kicking it with Gianna and Leon. And who comes in? Jamal, which is her boyfriend and Leon's father. So we can already see why Leon is the way he is. Part of it is because of his father. And I think Diamond can really relate to Leon because Jamal and his father, Big Sid, share a lot of similarities. So Gianna tries to explain he's teaching Leon how to box and Jamal wasn't having it and he puts Diamond out of his house. So we meet Claudia's ex-lover Elise and Elise got some money. As soon as she heard what was going on with Claudia, she hopped on her mother's private jet. I said, okay, so Elise is going to take Claudia out and Claudia will end up stumbling upon a business venture. Tommy and Diamond have a conversation. Tommy tells Diamond that he let Vic back into CBI Victor's going to handle the North. They can make millions of dollars. So Diamond hears that and uses it to his advantage and says they will need bodies to expand. So he's bringing Jannard back into CBI. Tommy really ain't having it until Diamond says if they bring Jannard back, they get Shanti and Garfield Park. So Diamond tells Tommy that Jannard is good and ready to work. He paid off his debt with Miguel, but Merkovich is refusing to take the money. But... Jannard ain't good and ready to work. He's on drugs. So Tommy is going to talk to Markovich. Tommy is so cold for this next move. He, he very clearly asked Diamond if there was anything he needed to know about Jannard. He asked it for a reason because he already knew. And Diamond straight up lied. Let's take a trip down memory lane, episode 203. <laughs> So, Jannard is good? It ain't nothing that you need to tell Tommy? How about telling him your brother's on drugs? And the way that Diamond answered the question, he didn't even look convincing, not even a little bit. And I'm sure Tommy could tell that he was lying. So, Shanti goes to see Jannard, and she tells him that he needs to get clean and that Diamond can get him back into CBI. So, Shanti is going to be the person to help him. And Jannard gave that girl her necklace back. I was happy to see that because that was a real crackhead move stealing that girl's necklace so claudia goes to the strip club and she learns about a hustle there the girl tell her that they score drugs and resell the drugs at the club and claude makes an offer to double what they're making so just like that she got her a new hustle so tommy and vic are leaving one of the spots on the north tommy gives victor a phone with his number in it and tell him you know hit him on that phone and the entire time they're being watched by vargas it is not like Tommy Egan to drop the ball like this because where the car was placed, Tommy should have seen this. Tommy is keen. Tommy is up on his game. He has spotted them many of times, but he did not this time. Why? Because he was so busy worried about Maria. Calling Maria. Of course, she hasn't been answering his calls, so unfortunately he was worried about a girl and you know his mind wasn't in the right place so he didn't even notice that the feds was right there watching him oh, 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 oh. so we have a scene here with jamal and leon and it was really just heartbreaking jamal is verbally abusive and he talks about how kids are taking leon stuff and leon is not standing up for himself which is true you do have to stand up for yourself but the way he went about it was the wrong way 
So he tries to get Leon to hit him and he's yelling at Leon and he ended up throwing his comic book. And this was just way too over the top. How about trying to have a real conversation with your son? Stop belittling him. Stop talking to him crazy and really try to help. Then he ends up slamming the door in his face and locking the door so the kid can't even get in the house. Like, what type of father is this? And Diamond is watching it all and he gonna take care of it. Claudia tries to make a deal with Jannard and he declines. But Claudia did notice Shanti and Shanti was also listening the whole time. So Shanti will be approaching Claude in episode 7. Murkovich tells Tommy that he is not going to allow Tommy to come to the north side. Sadly, they're unable to reach an agreement and and Tommy dares him to try to stop them from coming to the north side. So even after the Serbs ran up on Miguel and Tommy ended up getting shot, Tommy thought that testing Murkovich was the right thing to do. It wasn't a wise decision on Tommy's part, and unfortunately, a lot of people got hurt. Diamond tells Jamal that he better leave Gianna and Leon alone or he will kill him. Diamond choked that boy out with one hand with very little effort when diamond want to get busy he definitely can bring the heat so Jannard apologizes to tommy and when Jannard and diamond hug tommy can clearly see that Jannard is having issues you can tell by his mannerisms that he's playing with his nose but it's much deeper than tommy even knows so tommy goes to Mireya's job and wants to know like what is going on i've been calling you why are you not answering my calls so she tells him that miguel thought dr kendall was abusing her so he broke his hands and if he finds out about her and Tommy ain't no telling what he gonna do and y'all already know Tommy is not concerned he really doesn't care at all so the Serbs come through the projects and they blaze that mug up like this was insane Markovic he is the one not to play with I thought something was gonna happen to him this episode but I will admit I was wrong he came through with that heat so I was rooting for my boy Big Smurf. I think I said it earlier this season. Like, I don't want anything to happen to my homie Big Smurf. So he did get hit and he goes to the hospital. And Maria, of course, sees him at the hospital. And she is very concerned because she wants to know, did something happen to Tommy? So we can see she really does like Tommy. Her love for him is genuine. But I'll be making another video about her because things still are not adding up. So Stacy asks Victor what he got, and of course he tried to give her information on Claudia. He, she's made it clear she does not want that. She wants to know if he got anything on Egan. He lies to her and says he didn't get the phone number, which she already knows because Vargas clearly saw Tommy hand him the phone. So if he does not give her something, he will not have immunity on this murder charge. This next scene between Maria and Tommy was adorable, I have to admit. She ran to his apartment, concerned because of the shootout in the project. She thought something happened to Tommy. Of course, nothing happened, and she tells him, I want you, Tommy. I was like, oh, girl, that's cute. Go ahead, get you some D, girl, get you some D. She was over Dr. Kendall. She saw Tommy. She played hard to get for a minute. I will say this, these people fall pretty quick, don't they? I get it. It's a TV show. We don't have time for them to be chasing each other through the whole season. So Victor is thinking about Gloria and, you know, he's having a moment and he feels like if he really wants to get out of this life, he is going to have to take Tommy Egan down. So Victor is been, has been going back and forth. You know, on one hand, he's not giving Stacy information on Tommy, which he does have. And on the other hand, now he's saying he gonna have to basically flip. So we'll see what happens with Victor. I actually have another really good prediction about him that I will try to release this week. We got some really good fan predictions and we two for two so far. All right, so it was predicted right here on a theory video. So this should be no surprise. And Shanti reveals her true plan for Jannar to get clean, take over CBI, and kill Tommy Egan. So it doesn't look like this is going to turn out well for her. We can We already know what happens when someone tries to go against Tommy not looking good for Shanti. What I'm curious to see is what Jannard's next move will be. So a pregnant Holly appears to Tommy and she looks so beautiful. She looked like an angel and she tells him that he's going to hurt Maria too and he claims he's not because he loves her. So I don't know y'all it's not looking good for Maria. When they do things like this there is a reason but Holly tells Tommy he cannot have both worlds. What do y'all think about Maria's future? All right, cousins, what are the highlights for you and what are your predictions for the next episode? Let's talk about it. All opinions are welcome. Please comment your thoughts. See you later. Woo.